All right, here is question number one. Question reads, the angle of elevation from a point A to the top of a hill is 49 degrees. If point A is 400 feet from the base of the hill, how high is the hill? So one thing you should know, let me draw a hill. Suppose we have a hill here, right? And um, we have a point A. Remember, they will be on the same horizontal ground. Suppose we have a point A here. An angle of elevation to the top of a hill is what? 49 degrees. And um, we are asked to find the height of the hill. So we call it H or any other letter. Then from the base of the hill to the point A, according to the question, is 400 feet, right? So what is the relationship between this side and this side? Remember that this is directly opposite to the acute angle, so it is the opposite side. And this is said to be the adjacent side. The relationship between the opposite and the adjacent is tangent of that angle, right? So tangent of 49 degrees is equal to opposite divided by the adjacent and you can make h the subject h is equal to 400 multiplied by tangent of 49 degrees so just use your calculator press everything and 400 multiplied by tangent of 49 degrees is approximately equal to 460 feet this is to the nearest whole number. Nearest whole number. Let's move on to question number two. Question number two. Find the angle of elevation of the sun when 12.5 meter tall telephone pole cast 18 meter long shadow. Let's assume we have a telephone pole here. Let's assume this is the one. It casted a shadow of 18 meter. So let's assume this is the shadow. You know that the sun will be somewhere here. It will cast on the pole. So we have an angle of uh, elevation here, which is theta. And the pole is what? 12.5 meter, according to the question. You can see that here. So we are asked to find what? The angle of elevation. So what is the relationship between this side and this side is tangent, right? So we have tangent of theta is equal to opposite 12.5 divided by the adjacent, which is 18. Therefore, theta will be tan inverse of 12.5 divided by 18. Just use your calculator to press everything here. And this is approximately equal to 34.78 degrees. This is the value of angle theta. Moving on to question number three. Question number three. A ladder leaning against a building makes an angle of 78 degrees with the ground. The foot of the ladder is five feet from the building. How long is the ladder? All right. So this is the building. This is the ground level. And this is the ladder. All right, how long is the ladder? Let me call it H. The angle formed is 78 degrees. Uh, between the base of the ladder to the building is 5 feet, according to the question, right? So how long is the ladder? All right, so this is hypotenuse, and this is the adjacent side. The relationship is cosine. So we have cosine of 78 degrees equal to 5 divided by H. So H itself is equal to 5 divided by cosine of 78 degrees. So just use your calculator, press everything. And this is approximately equal to 24 feet. This is to the nearest whole number. Question number four. A person whose eyes are 5 feet above the ground is standing on a runway of an airport 100 feet from the control tower. The person observes an air traffic controller at the window of the 132 foot tower. What is the angle of elevation? So let's assume 
Can I draw a tower here? Tower control. This is a tower control. Let's assume that this is the tower control. Someone is inside this place. And someone is also standing here. Remember the horizontal ground will be the same. And this guy standing here is from his eyes to the ground is what? Five feet. So let me write five feet long. Let me cut the horizontal line first. And the tower is what? 132 feet. So we have something like this. 132. Remember he is standing on the runway of an airport 100 feet. So the whole distance here is 100. All right. Remember what are we looking for? We are looking for the angle of elevation. So the angle of elevation would be here. Let's call it theta. Uh, since these two lines are horizontal and they are equal, this must be 100 as well. But we need only the distance from here down here. And how can we find it? The entire building here is 132 feet. But remember, the guy is 5 feet long. So we have to subtract 5 feet from this. So therefore, this will be 127 feet. All right, so we have a right angle triangle here that we're going to work with. Uh, we're going to work with tangent. Tangent of theta will be equal to opposite, which is 127, divided by the adjacent, which is 100. So to find theta, we're going to take tan inverse of both sides. And this is approximately equal to 51. 0.78 degrees let us move to the next question question number five the angle of depression from the top of a shear cliff to point e on the ground is 35 degrees if point e is 280 feet from the base of the cliff how tall is the cliff all right i would like to start with the cliff something like this i remember that this is the horizontal ground something like this and let's assume we have a point E situated right here. So angle of depression, you know, it is between the horizontal line and the line of sight. This is the line of sight. So this angle right here is the angle of depression, which is given as 35 degrees. But remember, I told you that it will be equal to the angle of elevation, which is also 35 here. Uh, we are asked to find the height of this cliff. And between point A to the base of the cliff is, uh, what, 280 feet. So what is the relationship between this side and this side is tangent, right? So we have a lot of tangents today. So this is tangent of 35 degrees equal to opposite divided by the adjacent. Um, just multiply both sides by 280, H equal to 280 multiplied by tangent of 35 degrees and this is to the nearest whole number equal to 196 feet nearest whole number question number six the angle of depression from a balloon on a 75 foot string to a person on the ground is 36 degrees how high is the balloon uh, let me start with the balloon uh, it is something like this right and this is the trade this is the ground level let me mark it this is the horizontal line so let us assume this is the point where the person is standing on the ground so we have the line of sight here so this particular angle is what 36 degrees and we have to find how high is the balloon right so it will be a question mark here let me call it x so this angle right here is also 36 degrees and the distance here from the person to the balloon is 75 foot right okay 
So let us consider this hypotenuse and opposite side. Uh, we're going to use sine. So sine of 36 degrees is equal to opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So therefore x will be equal to 75 multiplied by sine of 36 degrees. And this is to the nearest whole number 44 foot, right? Let us move on to question number seven. Question number seven read a skyron is 1000 yards long with a vertical drop of 280 yards. Find the angle of depression from the top of a skyron to the bottom. Let's assume that this is the vertical drop, which according to the question is 208 yard and this is the horizontal ground and from this point down to the ground is 1000 yard what are we looking for we are looking for the angle of depression which is right here and it will be the same thing as this one so let me use this as theta so again we are going to use sine sine of theta is equal to opposite divided by the hypotenuse and theta will be equal to sine inverse of 208 divided by 1000 and this is approximately equal to 12.01 degrees in two decimal places so now let us move on to question number eight and this is our last question from the top of 120 foot high tower, an air traffic controller observes an aeroplane on the runway at an angle of depression of 19 degrees. How far from the base of the tower is the airplane? 